Hey Canucks fans, the Vancouver Canucks have defeated the Los Angeles Kings in LA by a score of 2-1. to one. Big win for the team for many reasons that I'll get into. Here's what I liked, here's what I didn't like, and here's one other thing. What I liked, the return of Carson Soucy. He just has a calming presence. I would say he's our third best defenseman behind Quinn Hughes and maybe right up there with Philip Hronick. And yeah, he, you know, he wasn't the only reason why the Canucks won today, but I think there's no surprise, there's no coincidence that the team seemed calm on defense when he's back there. Maybe because he's there and Tyler Myers isn't, because Noel Juleson is still in that, that top six blue liners, but still, I thought it was a great uh, game for Carson Soucy, and you can see that he's, he's steady, he's confident, and he simply breaks up a lot of plays with his long reach and with his good positioning. No, not a lot... Uh, not a lot of uh, numbers on a stat line, just the one hit, uh, no no shots on goal, no points even, 18 minutes of ice time. So I think a really good uh, return to the lineup for Susi after missing 17 games since hurting his hand against Toronto back in January. I like the fact that our best players were our best players. You talk about our core four or our big five, whatever you want to say, of Pedersen, Miller, Besser, Hughes and Demko, they all factored in because you had PD scoring, you had Miller scoring, and then you had Besser with an assist, Hughes with two assists, and then uh, Thatcher Demko making 23 of 24 saves. So you, you say that you need your best players to be your best players, and the Canucks' best players certainly were tonight. And uh, what, a, what a far cry. What a, what a difference from last night's boring snooze fest against LA um, in, at Rogers Arena when, when the Canucks lost 5-1. But the best players were indeed the best players. I also thought Connor Garland was noticeable. He had four shots on goal tonight, uh, plus one, no points, but I thought he was quite noticeable. On um, I thought Sam Lafferty had a good game in limited ice time, 11 minutes, but he was always in the middle of scrums. He had four hits and was uh, was um, was always in the middle of things and, and being a bit of a poop disturber, so to speak. And I thought um, on the blue line, yeah, Zadorov had four hits. I thought he was noticeable. Jolson had three hits. Hronik had three hits. So they certainly weren't afraid to, uh, some of our blue liners weren't afraid to lay the body as well. So um, I also like the Canucks, the fact that they, they dominated in the face-off circle two to one. I like the fact that they only took one penalty. So a very good disciplined game by the team. And the fact that they had a really strong second second period um, 16 to 9 with the shots. Um, so overall, I thought this was a really solid win by the Vancouver Canucks, and it was important that they won because Edmonton uh, inexplicably scored in the last minute and a half against Boston, and then won in overtime. So Edmonton won as well. So it's nice to see the Canucks. Um, it's funny. It's not like the Canucks keep pace with Edmonton. Edmonton keeps pace with the Canucks because the Canucks are, are the forerunners right now. But still, it was very important that the Canucks won tonight's game. I was happy when they got to overtime, and I was obviously even more happy once they actually won the game. Let's talk about some things I didn't like. You know, I, I, I said this many times before, sometimes I feel like I'm nitpicking in a game where the Canucks were quite solid and it's very easy just to talk about the goals that they allow as things I didn't like. But I didn't like that first goal. I thought uh, Hronik played that quite poorly actually. And um, I do like Philip Hronik's game. I think maybe I was too bullish on the contract he's gonna get because I think there are some flaws in his game that we kind of see exposed once in a while, i.e. giving up the puck and turning it over a little bit. So um, yeah, so the one thing I didn't like was his play on the, it's, and it's only LA goal. Uh, it's only goal of the of the game. But um, yeah, I didn't like his play on that LA goal when he kind of bobbled, up, bobbled the puck right in, in front of the crease. By the way, uh, I probably should give more, um, more love to Demko. He was outstanding tonight. I shouldn't have just said, oh, he made 23 saves on 24 shots. Some of them were outstanding, uh, especially that one where he went from his right to his left. Uh, I think it, he rough, uh, was it, uh, um, what's his face? Uh, Turcotte uh, with the glove save and he made some other outstanding saves so really nice to see Demko on his game again that was a lot different this whole game was different from when the Canucks hosted the LA Kings in that snooze fest last week so that was again a thing that I liked so what I didn't like I you know the Canucks had two power play chances they did not look very strong very organized on those two so maybe that's one thing that I would like to, to see them improve on a bit. They only had two chances, so uh, LA played disciplined as well, um, just as the Canucks did. Yeah, didn't like um, the, the play on the first LA goal, but overall, 
you know, uh, I see Puck Colson had nine, only nine minutes this time as opposed to the 12 he had in the last game. But I don't think he played poorly. He actually had a credit with a shot today. So he had more in terms of uh, on the stat line. Uh, but yeah, I don't think he played poorly. I don't see a reason to take him out. He's not hurting the team. He's playing hard. He's uh, trying to turn pucks over, not turn the give the pucks away, but rather take pucks away from opposing teams along the boards, especially. Um, and he's not afraid to be physical. So I didn't mind his game at all. So quite frankly, I'm looking at the stats. Like what you can't really complain about anyone. The low man on the on the ice time was Pod Colson at 9:17. Then DJ Seppi at 9:54. I thought DJ Seppi was fine. And then um, the low man on the blue line was Jolson with 13, all the way up to Hughes with 28-39. Hughes was really good tonight too, by the way. I, I kind of, maybe I should have spent more time in the what I like uh, section because Hughes was outstanding. He He's so dominant when he has the puck. And when he's on his game, when he's skating well, when he's engaged and when he's engaging teammates, he really looks unstoppable out there. So um, yeah, a couple more thoughts there. I'm kind of going all over the place tonight, but that's okay. And then uh, one other thing. Elias Lindholm. So he was subject. I don't know how credible the rumors are, but Chris Johnson also uh, tweeted out that maybe uh, the Canucks are interested in Gensel. Maybe they would consider moving Elias Petter. Uh, not Elias Pedersen. Don't don't. Sorry, that was a bad slip. Elias Lindholm as part of a three-way trade. Lindholm to Boston. Gensel to here, and then Boston has to send a Pittsburgh some things. Who knows? Um, but. Um, so that that was kind of the rumor that was going around. I don't lend too much credence to it. I, I think Lindholm is a guy that you could use in the playoffs. Yes, Gensel is, is, sounds appealing because of his offensive ability. But think of all the reasons why he did get Lindholm, Lindholm for defense, for depth down the middle, for right, right-handed right centerman. So let's not jump away from those things just because he struggled a little bit. So just want to throw that out there. But it was kind of interesting because he got injured for a bit or maybe an equipment issue at the end of the first period. Then we weren't sure if he was going to come back and then he did come back and he played the second and the third and he wound up with just under 15 minutes of ice time and one hit was on his stat line. So not the most effective, but I, I did notice when he was out there, when he was centering that third line with Garland and with, uh, with Pod Colson, and then Rick Tockett was uh, switching lines. I, I saw the lotto line a couple times. I saw the all Swedish line a couple times with uh, PD Lindholm and Hoglander. So I think I think Rick Tockett is still with the guys he has and navigating the injury of Dakota Joshua, the absence of Joshua. I think he's still navigating some different line combos as well. So um, and and the other thing, even though it's one, it's I guess it's two other things now. Is as I said off the top, this is a very important win for the Canucks given what's happening in the Pacific Division. So Vegas is starting to crumble. Canucks were able to stop LA. They were crumbling. No, they're not crumbling, but it was nice to stop LA. And now it looks like it's going to be a, a two-horse race for the top of the Pacific Division with the Vancouver Canucks having the inside track by virtue of their, their lead on the Edmonton, Edmonton Oilers right now. I, I think I saw a stat that it was uh, PD's third straight 30-goal season, either third or fourth. It was Hughes' third straight 60-assist season. So, um, yeah, so I'm really, really, and I think PD reached, uh, is it 400 points with that, uh, with that assist on that? Oh, no, he did, sorry, he did not get an assist on the overtime winner, so he's, I think he's still stuck at 399. Regardless, a great one by the Canucks. Join me in a few minutes. You probably, if you watch this, it'll only be a few minutes before 11, and hope you can join me on my live stream where we can talk about it even a little bit more. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovlander, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame franchise members as well. And thanks to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. So on your way out, hit like, hit subscribe. You can leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership, and leave a comment. Tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like, and tell me one other thing from tonight's big 2-1 win by the Canucks over the LA Kings. Stay safe. Stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Hope to see you in a few minutes at 11 p.m. for my live stream. God bless, and go Canucks go.